Today's tip of the week is, will rental rates continue to rise? Yeah, and we wanted to get this out there just because we've had a number of phone calls from our investors right now, not panicking, Tim, but asking questions. Um, and there's a few things going on that we wanted to uh, put out there. The first thing is, is that there are more rental listings right now. Tim was on the site this afternoon on RentFaster, um, and we worked out that there's 434 main floor suites available right now in Calgary. There's over 3,000, just over 3,000 condos available and uh, 690 townhomes. So the inventory is rising, which gives tenants more choice out there. Uh, and Tim, we're finding that the listings are sitting a little bit longer. Yeah, and, and they're sitting a little bit longer for a number of reasons. The number one reason is yeah, a lot of the landlords out there are pricing their properties too high. Um, there's a lot of price fatigue by tenants right now. They've they've had to leave places because the their landlord has jacked the rent up. And they're just not going to move into something with a higher rental rate. So they're really fatigued about that. And they're doing a number of things to maybe spread their rent around or to find a place with a lower rental rate. Yeah, so we're finding that for the landlords out there, it could be, Tim, as well, a little bit of a summer thing going on. Uh, no one really wants to move right now. But we do know with what's going on in the economy, with inflation, interest rates, Yes, it's affected uh, homeowners, but it's also affecting renters. And when we when we look at the renters, what we're seeing, Tim, is some renters actually teaming up and uh, living together. Yeah. Um, we were mentioning this last month that uh, co-living is a thing where young people are moving in together. They might not even be friends, but they become friends. Uh, and it's a cheaper way of renting right now. We know that um, student rentals, one bedroom, rentals in in someone's house is renting for a thousand dollars and um once that hit one thousand dollars everything went up tim after that yeah and we're seeing that inflation not only everywhere across the economy um, we're seeing rental inflation go a little bit too high and that's affecting him affecting renters um the economy has a huge effect on rental rates and when renters can't afford to pay the going rental rate for a specific property type, they will move down a property type. So that economy that we have, we're all feeling the effects of the inflation in the economy right now, and and you know the massive government spending that's contributed to that, um, it's affecting our rentals as well. So uh, we have to really watch what's going on in the whole economy to keep an eye on on our rental rates. And you have to really, like as I said, go on the rental sites and see what rentals, what rent, what rental rates are for your property type in your area to make sure that you're not outpricing it. Yeah. And the other thing that's going on with renters, some people are moving to smaller towns. It could be small towns outside of Calgary, or they could be moving back if they're from Saskatchewan, they could be moving back there, or some renters are actually moving back with their parents. So that's a few ways that they're saving. And as landlords, we have to keep that in mind. Uh, a few things that we can do, as Tim said, compare apples to apples when you are pricing your property. Don't aim for the, we always say this, Tim, don't aim for the for the moon here. You want to get enough money to cash flow, yes, but you want to attract good tenants as well. We find when they're high priced, those tenants, Tim, they normally move on. Uh, so we do feel that we have peaked here, Tim, uh, with the rental amount. And what do we expect going forward this year? Yeah, so because we've peaked, what we want to do is make sure that our rentals are attractive. So you got to make sure the the maintenance is upkept, the place still looks good. You're doing the paint touch ups. You're you know looking after the place physically so that you can have a little bit of an advantage over similar property types. Yeah. So that is our real estate tip of the week. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Crew TV, subscribe below so you get our future tips, uh, which will help you make money with real estate.